Hi everyone, my name is Jamie Schlegel with AutoCrib and today we're going to be looking at the Touch Toolroom software. Users will walk up to the touch screen, they can log in with multiple ways. We can do a prox reader, we can do a badge reader, and we can do a manual entry with a keyboard. Once I'm logged in, I'll have multiple options. I can issue product, I can return product, and I can locate product that I might not be able to find in the crib or might be somewhere else in the plant. So let's start with issue. Okay, so once I've logged in to the issue module, I'm presented with my optional cost center screen. Uh, this screen can be turned off or turned on via a, a simple checkbox. Right here, I'm just tracking by department. Uh, I can customize this if I want to track by work order instead of job. I can create an alias and that will, that will present itself on the screen. Once I'm all set here, I press next. And now I'm presented with my item list. So I can scroll through just like I'm on a cell phone. I can search for an item, and let's just say I need a, a can of spray paint. I'll search there. I'll get my keyboard off the screen, and then I can select an item here. So I'll select Add, and now I have the option to build a shopping cart, or I can issue the product now. So I need a few items. I'm going to add to cart. Now let's say I have an item that I want to look up here with my scanner. I can take the item, scan the code, and up pops the item. So I'll press add, add it to the cart. I'll go to my cart. Here's my issue list. I'll press check out. Gives me a pick ticket number. Now at this point, I have the option to print myself a receipt or I can skip that option. So I'll say okay. Once I'm done here, the, the software just uh, printed the receipt. I'll press log out and I'm done with the transaction. Now we're going to go through the return module. I want to return this drill that I had previously issued out. So I'm going to go into return. I'm going to be presented with a list that shows only the items that I specifically have checked out of the system. I'll choose the drill. I'll press return. And then I'm presented with the options of I can return this as it's in working order. I can scrap it. It's broken. Uh, or if it has the option to be reground, I can, I can suggest that it should be reground. If I had any problems with the unit or I want to make some notes on this, I can do that in the notes section. When I'm done with everything, I press OK. The transaction will be completed, return complete. And then I simply log out and return the item to the shelf. OK, next we're going to go through the locate module. This module is used when an employee is having trouble finding an item or in the instance where we have multiple tool rooms in the plant and they're trying to locate which one the item's in. I can simply scan my item that I'm looking for or I can manually search for an item. So if I say gloves and I press enter, it's going to show me every single item that has a description of gloves in it. From there, I can locate the crib number as well as the bin number, making it much easier for me to access and find the item. 